Speed control within the gate. What we're looking for in these exercises is being able to start to look for small levels of collection within each of these gates, particularly at the walk and the canter are going to be our main focus points of being able to shorten up the horse's stride and to be able to push it out. We're also, when we do this, is that because we're in a centered position here, where we are standing, that we're going to be able to ask those horses to start coming in onto quite a small circle. Asking the walk on. So to begin with, at the walk, what I'm looking for is that I'm just going to allow for, you know, kind of a nice relaxed walk like we did in our warm-up. As, he as he's out here on the circle, then I'm going to just start to think about just moving up and just sort of feeling and maintaining a little bit more contact here and just asking for that walk just to shorten up here a little bit but to still keep some forward impulsion coming through from behind. Good. Okay, just shorten him up here a little bit more. And you can see that I'm starting to work a little closer here now uh, with my horses, uh, as opposed to our level one and level two, we've started to make that transition through to being able to work closer. And that being able to work closer is gonna enable us in a lot more of our work when we start to work on our collected work. In order to get to this closeness, you will have covered that in level one and level two of our long reining when we started going through the exercises about being able to go from directly behind to three quarter on to the inside uh, where I'm currently standing here now. Okay, so now that I've just sort of demonstrated shortening up that walk, I'll ask him to go back out here. You can see I just I encouraged him a little bit too much right there. I just bumped him with the stick and he overreacted a little bit there to me. So I just allow him to walk back out and then I'm going to pick him up into the canner once he's relaxed in that walk again. Okay, I'm picking him up here into the trot. I'm going to go forward to the canner. Canner. So again, I'm going to firstly establish, also just do a quick check here on my range to sort them, sort them out, make sure that I don't have any knots in the tail of my ropes as I'm going through back up into the canter. So again, you're looking at what we would call our, our basic working canter or our warm-up canter, what we had. Now I'm gonna to start to ask for a certain amount of speed control within this gate. So I'm gonna to start to shorten up my reins here and start to walk in towards the horse. Now if I lose the canter like you've just seen here, I don't worry about it, I don't make an issue of it, just gonna re-ask him back up into the canter. And this time I'm gonna be a little bit more aware of being able to hold that canner, okay? And I'm gonna bring him in here on this smaller circle. Keep the canner, good. Now, good, keep going, and out. Forward to walk, good boy. Now, when I first start this exercise, the very first time that I do this, walk, I'm not going to expect for him to hold that short canter for a great length of time. I'm going to be looking at going through, being able to just make those small adjustments, asking him to come back and to hold that, that canter on that small circle, maybe only for a couple of strides and then allow him to go back out.